This is a deck review on a piece of wood. This is the one that Brandon McConnell gave me. So let's get on, on into that review. Start off with the concave. You got a mellow to medium stepped concave. It's like between mellow and medium, really. Kick height, medium on both nose and tail. The rocker is, now this is a, a professor, I have issues saying the word professor for some reason at times. Right there I said it, but other times I screw up. Anyhow, Professor Schmidt, it's a little uh, thing he does that I recently read about on Facebook on the rocker. Now I put your index finger over the mounting holes and this tail, the tail of the piece of wood is uh, on the rocker, I can fit three fingers and half of my pinky before the uh, tail starts to go up. And on the nose, it's about the same. I'd say it's more of like a quarter of my pinky before it starts going up. And that tells me that to basically standardize it, that the rocker of this deck on the tail is between medium and loose. It's not very loose, but it's kind of loose in a way. And on the nose, the um, rocker is medium, medium rocker. It's pretty rounded on both. Not really rounded rocker, but it's pretty rounded. It's not real rigid, rig, rigid either. The wood quality is good. It's a solid board, but I did get a huge chip, and that was from at Wedgwood. Uh, but skating anywhere, I mean, like if your board shoots out and it hits something hard enough, yeah, it's going to chip. And in my case, it kind of got a bit of a deep chip. But I skated this deck for well over a month. I enjoyed it. It's a great board. Would I get another one? Yes, I will. And I might make another video on talking about rockers actually but this video piece of wood brandon mcconnell's company thanks for the deck brandon and i'm gonna get another one i'd recommend them 35 dollars get you a solid piece of wood deck this one in particular is eight inches wide and good board Yeah, I'm face down, ass up, up in the car. Oh!